Today we'll be exploring some basic property of light and optics. We'll calculate the index of refraction of light through glass and use this value to determine the speed of light through glass. We'll calculate the focal lengths of two lenses. And finally, we'll create a simple telescope and calculate its power of magnification. Let's begin. At this point, nothing is known to travel faster than light through a vacuum or air. However, when light enters other mediums, forces between the atoms and molecules cause a reduction in speed. This reduction in speed results in a bending of the light towards the normal of the boundary between these two mediums. This bending of light is known as refraction. The index of refraction of a material has a symbol n and is defined as the speed of light in a vacuum, or c, divided by the speed of light through a particular medium, or v. It is also described by Snell's law, which states that c over v equals sine of the incident angle over the sine of the refracted angle. In this experiment, you will use Snell's law to calculate the index of refraction, n of glass. Once you have that value, you will use it to determine the speed of light in glass. You will peer through clear glass and use straight pins as markers to indicate the apparent path of light. Once you have set the pins, you will measure the incident and refracted angles with a protractor. You will use these values to calculate n of glass and finally the speed of light in glass. Here's what you do. You will place a pin to indicate your normal. Then you will place a pin at some arbitrary an angle indicating your incident angle. Now you need to peer through the glass, get the pins aligned, and drag this so that all three pins appear to be in alignment with each other. Once you've done that, you'll remove the glass, make a line that indicates your normal, draw your incident angle, and make sure you label it. And then you'll draw your refracted angle. You'll use this protractor to measure the value of your angles. And in case you don't know how to use this, your instructor will give you directions. And once you have your values, you can calculate your index of refraction in glass. In the next part of the lab, we'll be calculating the actual focal length of two different lenses. The estimated focal length is written on top. However, much like resistors, this is often just an estimated value. We'll be calculating the actual value, which is a property of the lens itself. To do so, we'll use the lens equation, which states that 1 over the focal length equals 1 over the image distance plus 1 over the object distance. You need two values to use this equation. The object distance, which is the distance of the object to the lens, and the image distance, which is the distance of the image to the lens. You'll be using a 15 centimeter focal length lens, which is referred to as a long lens, and a 5 centimeter focal length lens, which is referred to as a short lens. To determine the focal length of the long lens, you will use the window as your object. Move the lens until you have a sharp image of the window on the screen. Measure the distance between the screen and the lens. This is the image length. The object length is the distance between the lens and the window. Inasmuch as this distance is much larger than the image distance, you will make the assumption that this is an infinite distance. It is not really an infinite distance. Indeed, it could be measured. But for this situation, it will suffice to call this an infinite distance. And in doing so, the lens equation becomes 1 over f equals 1 over infinity plus 1 over i. Since the term 1 over infinity approaches 0, our final equation can be written as i equals f. To calculate the focal length of the short lens, you will use a lamp with an image of an arrow as the object. You will adjust the position of the short lens 
and the screen until you have achieved the sharpest possible image of the arrow on the screen. Note that the image of the arrow will be inverted. Now measure the object length and the image length and use the lens equation to determine the actual focal length of the short lens. Object length, image length. Finally, you'll make a simple telescope using the five centimeter focal length lens as the eyepiece and the 15 centimeter as the object piece. You'll focus on a distant object and adjust the lenses until you get achieve the sharpest image possible. Then lock it down. Telescopes are made to magnify distant objects. So now you will estimate the power of magnification of your simple telescope. Then you will use the magnification equation to calculate the actual value. Now we've completed the lab. Have fun.